hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding widget progress bar widget gauge and widget percent pi in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorial so in this session we will be discussing about three widget in Odoo, which can be used to represent data in a graphical manner so what we will be doing is that currently in the screen you can see we have opened the appointments and if i open any of the appointment here you can see we have got three states for appointment that is actually four state that is draft in consultation done and progress so what we will be doing is that we will be showing the progress of appointment using some widget in Odoo. that is if it is in draft state we need to show like 25 percentage is completed if it is in in consultation 50 percentage of appointment is completed and once it is done we have to show 100 percentage is completed so let's see how we can show the progress using the progress bar and the other widgets so what i'll do is that i'll go to pycharm and here we have the custom add-ons folder and let me close all the open files and here we have the om hospital and i'll navigate to appointment.py file where we have defined hospital dot appointment model so what i'll do is that i'll be adding a new field here called progress i'll name it as progress and i'll define its type as integer field store integer and i'll give the string as progress progress and what i'll do i'll make it as a computed field so i'll give compute equal to specify the function name compute progress so simply what i have done is i have added a new field of type integer and it's of a compute field now i'll copy the function name and i'll define the compute function diff progress and what i have to do i'll make it depending on state so i'll add at api depends state so i'm saying the field value the computation is to happen based on state field of the record so you can see the field name is state so i have given at api depends state then what i'll do i'll iterate it over a for loop in order to exclude the single ton error for rec in self then what i have to do i'll check if rec dot state if rec dot state equal to equal to draft so i'm checking if it is in draft state i'll set progress equal to 25 percentage elif that is else condition elif rec dot state equal to equal to in consultation consultation i will put it as progress as 50 percentage 50 percentage elif rec dot state equal to equal to done if it is done i'll put progress as 100 percentage and else i'll mark it as done sorry i'll mark it as zero progress equal to zero then finally i'll assign this to the variable progress progress but dot progress equal to progress so simply i have added the compute function and inside the compute function if the record state is draft i have to say progress is 25 percentage only and if it is in in consultation 50 percentage is completed and once it is done 100 percentage else else will be coming with a cancel record that is progress is zero and i have assigned it to the corresponding field now what i'll do i'll add this field inside our view so i'll go to the views folder and i will add it to the appointment view.xml so here we have the appointment view.xml where we have added appointment list view so what i'll do i'll add the new field to the list view so field name equal to field name equal to progress and i'll add it here so simply i have added the field to the list view of appointment now i'll restart the service and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the ui and i'll click on upgrade button so you can see the OM hospital module is getting upgraded and if you come to the appointments you can see you are getting different value in consultation 50 percentage when it is in done 100 cancel zero done 100 and if you have some draft appointment 
you have draft appointment which is showing 25 so it's currently it's we don't used any budget now we have just computed the value now we will be giving budget for this field so first of all we'll be going with progress bar budget so if i search inside the Odoo source code or i'll directly apply the budget from here so i'll edit view list and here you have the field so along with the field i'll add budget equal to progress bar so i'll give this widget widget equal to progress bar click on save and if you refresh you can see the data is coming as a progress bar you can see 50 percentage is completed here it's full 100 percentage zero and here you can see 25 so this is the working of progress bar widget in Odoo. just you need to compute the percentage then percentage into a field then give the progress bar widget to that field now what i'll do i'll simply instead of adding it inside the tree view i'll navigate to form view and i'll make a section a new page and i'll be adding the fields to that page so let's go to the appointment form view so if i go to the form view this is appointment form view i'll add a new page here inside notebook i'll add a new page called progress i'll name it as progress progress then i'll be adding the new fields inside this page i'll add some group or directly field name equal to progress with a widget progress bar so i'm adding the same to form view also and i'll copy this and specify it along with the list view also because initially we have added from the ui so simply i have copied and added it to tree view as well as in the form view so let's upgrade and see what happens so i'll restart again and I'll go to the UI and I'll upgrade OM hospital module. So you can see the module is getting upgraded. And if I come back to appointments and if I open any of the draft appointment, so here we have a draft appointment. Here you can see the progress is 25. So I hope you understood the working of progress bar widget. Now we have another widget like widget gauge and percent pi we will come to that so before winding up the progress bar widget let me search for widget equal to progress bar inside the odoo source code and here you can see you have the options like for the widget progress bar that you have some options so let me take a sample that i can show you progress bar get a sample from Odoo source code yep you can see this is where this is Kanban view I think let's take so this is a form view here you can see current value progress and you can see we have the option to set maximum value like by default the maximum value will be shown as 100 if you need to specify more than 100 you can put by options equal to max value so that's the point that i have to discuss you can specify max value equal to true along with inside the option now we will be going to the next widget that is gauge widget so let's see how we can do that so in order to use gate widget i'll create a new field and i'll mark it as progress gauge so we can use or what i'll do we'll keep the same field itself we'll keep the same field and currently we have progress bar widget inside form view and tree view so i'll keep the progress bar widget in tree view and inside form view i'll use another widget called gauge so if i come back to the appointment view here we have the progress bar so instead of progress bar i'll specify gauge page widget and let's see what happens if i restart and upgrade the module so inside the form view i have changed the widget to gauge and let's upgrade and see what happens so the module is upgraded if i come back to appointments and if i open a in progress that is in consultation 
if i click on edit you can see it's appearing like this 50 percentage is completed maximum is 100 so this is widget gauge in odoo and we can control its size and everything so if i go to odoo source code and if i search for widget gauge widget gauge you can see you can control width and height so if i copy that options copy control c and if i put it over here max field so if the maximum value has been come based on a field so currently you can see the maximum is showing us 100 which is by default value if we need to show the maximum value based on a field you can use max field equal to field name then you can use label field so i'm not going to use those attributes simply i'll use style using style i'll remove this from here i'll remove max field goal and i'll remove this then width we can specify how much width i'll put 20 px and height and uh, what i can say let's put 40 px so i have updated the st style that is width 40 percentage 40 px and height 40 px so let's upgrade and see the difference so i'll click on upgrade button and you can see the module is getting upgraded and if you come to appointments and if i open that it's very bit slow i think we have to increase furthermore a little bit more 100 percentage I'll put 100 percentage and let's upgrade and see so let's me upgrade the module once again so the module is getting upgraded again and if i come back to appointments you can see it's a little bit small now because we have given the style attribute and decrease the width and height so this is the widget gauge in odoo now what we will be doing we will be adding the next widget that is percent pi so what i'll do is that so i hope you understood the working of widget gauge so in tree view we have used widget progress bar and in the form view we have tried widget gauge so if you check here we have tried widget gauge now we have one more option called percentage pi so let's try that so what i can say is that i'll change this widget to percent pi percent pi and i'll remove the options so let's upgrade and see the difference so i'll duplicate this tab and apps menu and i'll upgrade the module so you can see the module is getting upgraded and if you come back to the appointments and if you open the first one you can see the graphical representation has been changed like this it's a percent pi now if i mark as done you can see 100 percentage if you go back to the tree view also you can see 100 percentage so these are the three widget that i have to introduce to you percent widget progress bar widget gauge and widget percentage pi so i'll keep percentage pi i'll remove percentage pi and i'll keep widget gauge and in tree view we have got progress so if, it, if i come back to the appointment.py currently you can see for draft i am always taking as 25 for in consultation i am taking 50 and for done I can take 100 so for done it will be always 100 but let's take a dynamic value for this draft and 50 so what i'll do is that i'll import a package called random so i'll add import random then what i'll do here instead of specifying 25 i'll give random dot rand range there is a function random dot rand range i need to a random value between 0 and 25 so here i'm saying that i have imported a python package called random and random dot random range so to progress i am assigning a random value between 0 and 25 similarly i'll assign a random value between 25 and 75 for in consultation and for finally for done state 100 and for cancelled it always zero so let it make 25 to 99 so let's restart and see the difference so i'll go to the ui and if i come to the tree view 
and I think we have to create a new record because always it's computed so it will not recalculate again so here you can see for draft it's 20 percentage 9 percentage 11 percentage 14 so if I create a new appointment for pineapple I'll select the doctor John Matthew and if I click on save you can see it's 14 percentage now if I move to in consultation it's showing 79 79 and you can see on each refresh it will change the value 75 69 73 because we are generating a random value between this range 25 to 19 and on each refresh it will be getting changed 97 and it will reach 100 only when we mark as done it will be 100 percentage so this is the working of widget progress bar widget gauge and widget percent pi in Odoo. So here we have made widget gauge and let me just upgrade and let's wind up this video. So the module is getting upgraded and if I come back to the appointments, let me try creating one more. 23, 14, 19, 10 on in consultation 35 78 and 100 on done so this is how we can use this widget in Odoo so I hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us as a directly under the video as a comment and feel free to connect us anytime in any ways email or in social medias like LinkedIn Facebook Twitter or Instagram and please so please follow us in all the social medias and like the video and have a comment so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you